and RuPaul, I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my final season. I feel the love in this room. I give it back to you. Go out, spread it around in the world, everybody. Bye-bye. Now at four, long lines and rising COVID cases, new COVID concerns for Southern California, and the supplies that healthcare workers say they're about to run out of. And returning to class, LAUSD just released its protocol for staff and students, the new mandate before anyone goes back to school. Also that weekend ban for swimmers, the new information we just got after millions of gallons of sewage poured in. NBC4 News at 4 starts now. And so we begin with the thing everyone is talking about, the surge in COVID cases and a new mandate right now for LAUSD students. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Chuck Henry. Michael and Carolyn are off today. Today, officials with the Los Angeles Unified School District announced that students and staff must get a COVID test before they can return to school. School employees return on January the 10th. Students will be back in class on the 11th. Meantime, the FDA has expanded Pfizer's emergency use authorization, approving COVID booster shots for kids ages 12 to 15. Also, the time between their primary vaccination and the booster shot has now been lowered down to five months from six. That decision comes as cases continue to rise. NBC 4's Angie Crouch begins our team coverage tonight with more on that. Angie. Yeah, this COVID testing site near Getty Center opened at 6 this morning, and there has been a long line waiting down Sepulveda ever since about 5 o'clock this morning. Take a look. You can see here in this parking lot where they've got it set up. Cars wind all the way around, heading into eight separate stalls. You can see them there with the tan-covered tents where they are getting swabbed. Workers here say they are absolutely exhausted, and they're dangerously close to running out of supplies. Long lines can be found at COVID testing sites all around Los Angeles today, from this one near the Getty Center, to Santa Monica, to Burbank, to Pomona, to the San Fernando Valley. Tens of thousands of people wanting to know if they got infected over the holidays. My wife tested positive, unfortunately, and I have my son who requires a, a test to get uh, to go to school in the mornings and my wife can't take him, so she's in quarantine. 911 COVID testing runs three sites in LA County. They're seeing a huge surge in demand since New Year's Eve. There's a full blizzard and we are getting knocked to our feet. Testing site CEO Steve Farzam says about a third of all the people being tested at his three locations are testing positive, and about half of those have no symptoms, which means they're capable of spreading the highly contagious Omicron variant well before they even know they have it. The transmissibility of, of, the, of, of the, what we're seeing now on the front lines is through the roof. While the Biden administration is vowed to increase testing capacity across the country, Farzam says his LA operations are in danger of running out of supplies. We have the viral uh, transport media, which basically we put the specimen in, comes with a uh, uh, nasal swab. Many of those in line today may be unaware LA County is offering to mail free COVID at home tests to residents who have symptoms or think they've been exposed. Your picture COVID-19 test kit includes a nasal swab. LA County's website includes a link to order the PCR swab test. You ship in your specimen through FedEx and get results within 48 hours. For the exhausted workers on the front lines of testing, more help is needed immediately from state, local and federal officials. You know, I hope I'm wrong but I don't think this is going to get better anytime soon. The folks who run this testing site actually sent staff to drive down to San Diego today to sit outside the facility that manufactures the test kits so that as soon as some new ones are available, they can drive them up to L.A. just as quickly as possible. Now, we did reach out today to the L.A. County Department of Health Services to find out when increased testing is going to ramp up here in Los Angeles, but we have not yet heard back. Reporting live near Getty Center, Angie Crouch, NBC4 News. Angie, thank you for that. Now, parents waited in line for hours today to get their kids tested for COVID in Pasadena. Students there return to class tomorrow. While testing is not required, parents say they want to do all they can to keep everyone safe. NBC4's Kim Baldonado with that story.